Imam ibn Affan, he would weep. They said, why do you weep so much for when you see a grave? There's more scary things than the Akhirah. That's going to happen. Why do you weep at the grave? He said, because the Prophet, the Messenger said to me, in the awwal al-manzil munazil akhirah al-qabr, the first station and stations of akhirah is the grave. That's the first station. If you're successful inside the grave, fama ba'da aysar. Whatever is after is going to be easy and simple for the individual. That is the moment a person is left all on their own. Three things they travel in all of us inside this dunya. And right when you get to that grave, two of these things they leave all of us and one remains behind for every single one of us. The three things that travel in all of us, our family members, our wealth and our property and our good deeds. Two of them right at that moment, they walk away. All your beloved family members, they walk away from you. They leave you. When they walk away and the final steps have walked away from you, those two angels then enter and they raise the individual up inside the grave and they pose those questions to him. The only thing that will remain is our own actions. This over-reliance on people that somebody will help me, someone will save me, someone will intercede for me, someone will come and do these good deeds for me. This is what many of us Muslims have become. In the daily grind of our life, even haram things, we speak to people who do haram things, they grind this haram. They deep, have a deep conviction. This is what I want to do inside my life. I want to obtain this. Even on Muslims, don't be surprised. Don't think everything about is, is dark and gloomy. They enjoy the things that they do. They love the things that they do. They like them. They feel it's a good life for them. They don't feel it's a temptation. This haram culture that we're surrounded by, they don't feel it's a temptation. They feel it's a part of their life. That's how you know that their souls have become dead. Their hearts have become deadened. فَإِنَّنَا تَعْمَلْ absar. It's not the eyes who become blinded, it's when the hearts become blinded. And our hearts shouldn't be like that. Our hearts should be the softest of hearts. Prophet said, mentioned, Zuruha, visit the graves. Before I prevented you from doing so because of certain reasons. But go and visit the graves and remind you about death to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what the, the grave, the death should do to an individual. Is awaken the individual in my preparation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That all of us have to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned inside, inside Surah Al-Ankabud, inside the 29th chapter of the Quran, Kullu nafsin da'ikatul maut. All, every soul is going to taste, taste death and, and you're going to return back to me, return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you look at the end of Surah Al-Mu'minun, that what many of us individuals are, we think that we should be given another opportunity to return back to this, to this dunya. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about these individuals. Read the end of Surah Al-Mu'minun. The 23rd chapter of the Quran speaking about the believing individuals and the disbelieving individuals. When the individual will say, O oh my Lord, Rabbi Rji'oon, La'alli a'amalu salihan fi ma tarak. Kalla innaha kalimatun huwa qailuha. Wa min wura'in barzakhun ila yawmi yub'athoon. These people are going to say, O oh my Lord, give me respite. Let me go back to this dunya and do righteous actions. Kalla. Nay, these are, these are vain words. These words have no meaning. Inna kalimatun huwa qailuha. These are just words. You had that ample opportunity inside your life to repent, to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَيْنَمَا تَكُونُ يُدْرِكُمُ الْمَوْتِ وَلَوْ كُنْتُمْ فِي بُرُوجِ مُشَيِّدَةِ In Surah Nisa, you find wherever you are, death will come to you. Even if you happen to be inside your fortified palaces, it will come to you. You cannot escape from death. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Surah Al-Jum'ah as well. Speak about that. قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ ثُمَّ تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَ that's the literal description of this. That death you're trying to run away from, فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ is going to meet you.